Um, before going for Microsoft Azure, let me introduce about myself. Uh, hi, my name is Shekhar. I have 15 years of experience on Microsoft technologies. Currently, I'm working as an Azure architect. Okay, yeah. Next, before going for Microsoft Azure, just I want to let you know something about IT infrastructure. Okay, do you know what is the IT infrastructure? Anyone has any idea? Generally, what is the IT infrastructure? IT infrastructure is the combination of software as well as like hardware. Is the like uh, if it's uh, like in a data center, we can see the like database, server, computers, and all. And all the combination yes. of hardware and software. Yes, correct. Simply, we can say uh, if we enter into the one organization, whatever the things are visible, that we will call it as infrastructure. Am I right? I can say systems, cables, wires. Okay, uh, and uh, routers, internet connectivity, server rack, server, data center, all these things we can call them as infrastructure. Simply we can say IT infrastructure is nothing but collection of hardware, software, switches, network, load balancer. is called IT infrastructure. Right? Okay, to maintain our own IT infrastructure, we require what? Data center. Okay, if you go for any organization, the company will have their own data center. The company uh, will have their own data center. See, this is the exact picture of IT infrastructure. If we consider, see, these are all the devices. Devices are connecting to one router. So this is load balancer. The request is maintained by load balancer. Also, this is the hardware system, RAT database. These are all the network connectivity cable. So why it's these are we will call them as what? IT infrastructure. This is the exact definition of IT infrastructure. The term infrastructure as an information technology that refers collection of hardware, software, switches, network load balancer is called IT infrastructure. Now, uh, to maintain our own IT infrastructure, we require what? One DC. What is the DC? Data center. Okay, if we go for PCS, Cartridge and Wipro, Accenture, any company in the world, they will have their own data center. They have their own data center. Okay, so simply I can say, what is the data center? Data center is a part of the organization. I am repeating, what is the data center? Data center is a part of the organization where we can build, deploy, manage, and access the applications through internal or corporate network is called data center. Okay, I'm repeating, what is the data center? Data center is a part of the organization. Okay, for example, you have an organization, you got one project where I would like to build five servers. So to build five servers, what we have to do? We have to go and verify whether space is available in the data center. Once space is available, then we will rack the servers. Then we will start building all these five servers from scratch. Okay, so that is what data center. See, this is the exact picture of data center. This is the exact picture of data center. For example, we are working on one organization. We got one new project where I would like to build 10 virtual missions. I can say 10 virtual missions. First step, what we have to do? First, submit the request to data center team. This is the data center team. Okay, they will verify whether space is available or not. Yes, they will drag the space. Once space is available, first step, they will install operating system. Okay, second step, they will configure the network team. Okay, third step, they will install all monitoring tools. Okay, fourth step, they will install security vulnerabilities and security patches for to deploy your application. Okay, fifth step, we will configure the firewall rules. Sixth step, uh, we will enable network security rules, okay, virtual network rules, okay, etc. etc. Finally, we will verify all these servers are built. Uh, based on 
what is that checklist or not once these servers are built finally these servers should be hand over to development am i right development team or project team whoever it is whatever we are calling it as now to complete this process minimum it will take 7 to 10 days why because uh, we have to submit the request it should be approved by manager okay then uh, it will go to data center team data center team should allocate the space for these five servers depends on business requirement okay then installation configuration management uh, verify check security vulnerability to do all these things it will take minimum 7 to 10 days okay minimum 7 to 10 days okay uh, this is burden to organization why because if it is taking like uh, 7 to 10 days it is very difficult nowadays everything is happening instantly right so apart from that we have to manage windows team i mean operating system team next networking team okay next load balancer team next monitoring team next security team next application deployment and management team so many teams are required to manage or to provide the support to customer okay so to maintain these many teams to maintain our own data center okay the project budget the project budget is very 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 high okay we are not able to bear the organizations are not able to bear such kind of amount okay that is the one reason why entire it industry looking towards cloud 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 okay if we go for cloud computing whatever the count i said five servers that can be deployed within the span of a minute i am telling only one minute not even two minutes Okay, we can post all these servers within span of a minute, very seven days and uh, one minute. There is a lot of gap. Okay, when you go for cloud computing, you need not maintain what is that? These many teams like Windows team, monitoring team, implementation team, application monitoring team, security team, many things. Everything is in built. We can provision the virtual machines within span of a minute. Okay, that's why entire organization, all the organization in the world looking towards cloud, 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 cloud. Okay, this is the just one reason, we have many reasons. Okay, so what are the other reasons are there? Why entire organization is moving towards cloud company? First thing, have a look. To maintain the data center, it is not a small task. What is that? To maintain the data center, it is not a small task. First thing, to maintain our own data center, we have to purchase the building. We have to purchase the building or construct the building. So again, that building should be constructed as per rules and regulations and guidelines provided by government. Okay, so why? Because uh, we are going to store the data that might be sensitive for all uh, personal people or business related information. So to build their own data center, they have to follow rules and regulations and guidelines provided by IT laws by government. Okay, yeah, next. So uh, see, first thing, we have to purchase one building and design according to data center rules and regulations and guidelines next uh, we have to design the data center in such way that next to after designing the data center we need many things okay what are the things first thing we need dedicated space for housing infrastructure the point which i have just explained okay next we need high bandwidth internet high bandwidth internet in a sense for example, uh, my organization data center is there in New York. I am sitting in Hyderabad. Okay, to access that data, to access that data, our application information, our database, we need high bandwidth internet. We need high bandwidth internet. Okay, that is the another cost. Right, next, uh, we need redundant power supply. 
redundant power supply in the sense, see that to run this data center, we need electricity. We need electricity. If there is no electricity, then we should able to run this data center with a battery or generator. Again, that is cost. Right? Yeah, next step. Dust free environment. You know, right? So always uh, we should we should construct these building and design and the main name should be what is that? Dust free environment. So you know uh, Microsoft data centers. Uh, they are trying to deploy them inside of the sea, inside of the sea. So going forward by 2030, data centers cannot be appear on Earth. Uh, data centers, they are going to build it in, inside of the sea. Okay, that is the innovation is going on. Maybe that will be available by 2030. Okay, fine. Next, other thing is, uh, efficient cooling system okay efficient cooling system means if we enter into the data center you can see less than 10 degree celsius temperature less than 10 degree celsius temperature why because any hardware device it will produce lot of heat okay uh, in order to cool it so always we should maintain the ac temperature less than 10 degree celsius okay yeah next a uh, high physical security so high physical security in a sense anyhow as you know that already the data center uh, we can store the data that is very sensitive data am i right sensitive data in a sense we should provide a uh, high physical security unauthorized persons should not enter into the data center okay so another is a person should not enter into the data center. So we have to provide high physical security. If we maintain our own data center, that is the story I am telling. Okay, next. So this is the disaster recovery. Disaster recovery in the sense, for example, this is the data center, right? This is the data center. Uh, assume that if you are managing only single data center, Okay, uh, it got corrupted. It got corrupted. Total data center got corrupted. If it is got corrupted, then whatever the data we have managed, everything will get vanished. I mean, we have lost the data. So, we do not have the data. We do not have the option to recover as well. So, to maintain, what is that? same data in multiple location we will maintain another thing called disaster recovery so another backup data center if this data center is collapsed another data center should be there to recover the data so it should not affect it to your business am i right so uh, if you are maintaining single data center that is not enough we have we also have to implement disaster recovery Disaster recovery in the sense, recover the data if any unexpected events are occurred. You know, right? I think in the year of 2000, in the year of 2000 or 2001, there is a World Trade Center collapse in the US. Why these terrorists are targeting World Trade Center? Why? Because Indian, uh, sorry, US economy, okay, US all financial system, they are storing them the data center. That's why they have collapsed. What is that? Uh, World Trade Center. Even though they have collapsed, uh, the US did not lost even single record. Single record in the sense. So whatever the debits and credits provided by uh, US, they haven't lost such related data. Why? Because they are already maintaining. What is that? disaster recovery another data center even the world trade center are collapsed by terrorists they haven't lost any data only physical damage of that building that's it okay same way to maintain our data safe and secure we need to maintain what is that disaster recovery okay yeah to build another same data center again it is cost again it is cost okay yeah next other thing is 
we need more time, more expense to build infrastructure. I said, right? So if you would like to build few servers, uh, it will take minimum seven to 10 days, still in real time, okay? Because of all these challenges, entire IT industry looking towards cloud, 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 cloud. Clear? So let me summarize the point what we have discussed so far. Okay, what is the infrastructure? What is the cloud? What are the challenges are there to maintain our own data center? Okay, next. Now you people tell me what is the cloud? Cloud is generally nowadays it is generic term. Okay, if you go for anywhere, uh, people are telling that cloud, 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 cloud. Okay, now what is the cloud? Now you people tell me. Yeah, direct, uh, uh, we can say Nadal Sathya is going to be visited Hyderabad uh, uh, Microsoft campus tomorrow. Okay, they are marketing about public uh, cloud, cloud, cloud. Why cloud? Why should we go for cloud? They are in detail providing in seminars. Day before yesterday, Noida, I think yesterday also in Delhi, tomorrow is going to be visited in Microsoft office in Hyderabad. They are going to launch both largest data center in Hyderabad that will be ready by 2025. Okay, so uh, why these uh, corporate CEOs are marketing like cloud, cloud, cloud? Why cloud? Can you tell me anyone? What is the cloud? Anyone? Uh, to store and retrieve your data from everywhere. Like yeah, uh, okay. Internet. Yes. So simply I can say cloud is nothing but collection of what is that? Resources. I am repeating. What is the cloud? Cloud is nothing but collection of remote services and access them over the internet is called cloud. Okay. So this is the cloud. Assume that. In the cloud, they have deployed all the services whatever the required for enterprise environment, okay, all the services are at speed. As per your requirement, just access and consume that, that's it. Okay, yeah, next. What is the cloud? I am repeating, cloud is nothing but collection of remote services and access them over the internet is called cloud computing. Okay, remote services in a sense, for your organization, in the environment, whatever the things are there, everything they have placed in the cloud. For example, you need artificial intelligence. Yes, you can access it. I need to create one server, access it. Yes, great. Okay, if you need implement machine learning, yes, implement it. That service is already there. And uh, if you need uh, uh, access and deploy the web apps, yes, access and post it. All these things are happening within span of minutes. Okay, here you need not uh, manage your own infrastructure, you need not worry about disaster recovery, you need not worry about uh, infrastructure configuration related information, everything managed by, what is that, cloud vendor. Okay, so this is the exact definition provided by uh, NIST. What is the cloud? Cloud is nothing but it is model of convenient on-demand network access based on your demand, anytime, anywhere, we can access those services, okay? So, where we can provision the network server storage applications, that can be rapidly provisioned and with minimal management, that is called cloud computing. If you feel that that is complicated, very simple, okay, cloud computing is nothing but collection of remote services, just access them over the internet is called cloud computing. Okay, right? Yeah, next. Now, in the cloud computing, there are three types of service models. Okay, what are they guys? Any idea? So, private cloud and public and hybrid cloud. Service models. One is as okay one is infrastructure 
as a service. Platform yes. Okay. Pass. Pass in the sense. Platform, Platform as a service. Okay. Pass. What is the software as a service? Why they have categorized into different uh, three types of cloud service deployment models? Okay. One is as as in the sense infrastructure. They will provide the infrastructure. Application deployment and development should be managed by yourself. Okay, for example, you would like to deploy one Java application. Okay, for that you need to build five servers. Yes, go ahead and build five servers. You can span up a minute, then on top of it to host Java application. What you have to do? Install web servers, WebLogic, WebSphere, RJBus, Apache Tomcat server. On top of it, post your Java application, then that should be managed by yourself. Okay, the organization, I mean cloud vendor, just provide the virtual machines, then remaining management should be taken care by yourself. Why? Because application is yours, management is yours. That is what infrastructure as a service. Clear? For example, after one year, your business is not good, okay, then go and destroy it at this moment. Okay, till whatever the things we have consumed, just pay for that. That is what infrastructure as a services. Okay, next platform as a services. Okay, what is the platform as a services? Any idea? So the name itself it is describing that platform. Platform in a sense, um, they are providing platform and runtime. For example, you have to deploy one Java application. A Java code is ready with you. Okay, that entire environment provided by Panda that we will call it as platform as a services. For example, they have built already environment. Okay, so with the pre-install and configuration of the web server as well. For example, you would like to deploy one Java application. Then to deploy the Java application, whatever the environment is required, all that it is in pre-setup. Just go and deploy the, your application. So here you need not worry about installation and configuration, management, network, monitoring. Everything would be taken care by vendor. Just you have to take care about deploy the application. Deployment of application, it doesn't matter. Just you can drag and drop your application files. So they are providing runtime and platform. You need not worry about management. Okay, that is what infrastructure as a services. Clear? Yeah, next. Now, uh, uh, next thing is SaaS. Okay, so in our day-to-day -day life, in our day-to-day -day activities which we are performing in organization, already we are entering into the software as a service. Could you please tell me best example for software as a service? Uh, like Gmail. Yeah, very good. So, Microsoft. Yes. Yes, Office 365 is the succeed product in the market. No other products are there to beat Office 365. Okay, Office 365, it has around 30 services. Okay, nothing has to be installed in our device. Okay, everything we can do it using browser. All uh, to do all you need, only internet connection. Okay, best example, uh, you are using MS Teams, am I right? Okay, who is managing by uh, MS Teams? Are you managing? Are your organization managing? No, it is managed by Microsoft. Yes or no? We have MS Teams, Outlook, okay, uh, SharePoint, okay, uh, Stream, okay. Next, also we have uh, Dynamic CRM, Dynamic CRM, okay, uh, sorry, CRM. Next, also we have MS Word, MS uh, PPT, Outlook, 
everything uh, all these components are managed by microsoft okay you would need not install all these components in your device everything can be accessible in the browser itself okay yeah this is what software as a service okay see guys these are the components provided by office 365 now admin bookings calendar complaints uh, dynamics uh, excel form okay analytics one drive okay one note okay next uh, outlook people planner power apps power automation power bi all these things are managed by microsoft you need not worry about manage these things this is about what software as a services okay so this is the one side is enough to differentiate between on premises and cloud have a look uh, this is the on premises these are what cloud computing now tell me in on premises to perform all these things networking storage okay next operating system installation and configuration middleware runtime application to perform all these things we required one thing what was that any idea just now i said to maintain all these own data center yeah we required our own pc data center that is what on premises next in the cloud if you go for infrastructure as a service see guys carefully observe the things which are highlighted with red color that will be taken care by vendor okay now would you like to deploy windows operating system or linux that is totally depends on business requirement okay some projects may require i would like to build five servers with windows operating system some same another project they would like to deploy five servers with linux operating system yes you can choose the operating system on top of whatever the types of application you would like to host it yes go ahead and host it okay yeah that is about what infrastructure as a services next platform as a service in a sense i said right run time okay and the platform they have provided just you have to take care about your application you least bother about it what type of application you are going to host it in our hand if we have java yes java rediment environment is there if you would like to host php python ruby dot net any type of application yes there is a rediment environment go ahead and deploy deployment is a not big challenge just drag and drop the files how we people are drag and drop the files from your local to one drive or google drive okay there are different ways to host the application i will show you how to do that next software as a service see nothing is in your hand everything managed by the vendor just you have to consume it whatever they have provided that's it okay that is about what a difference between on premises and cloud okay next see so uh, this is the types of cloud what are the types of cloud one is public private hybrid what is the public guys generic term right what is the public accessible by all yeah the resources can be accessible from anywhere in the world is called public you agree i am repeating what is the public the resources can be accessible from anywhere in the world is called public okay for example i have created one virtual machine if i share username and password with you you can see it anywhere in the world then can communicate my mission and perform the activity okay that is about what public cloud okay private in the sense organization yes the resources can be accessible within the corporate network is called private for example you are working in tcs 
okay so what we will do we will go to the office and uh, um, we will connect it to tcs provided vpn vpn in the sense virtual private network then it will establish it to client network then we will able to access what all client related applications other services the moment when you disconnect the vpn or uh, coming out from the organization then will be able to communicate from our local home network that is what private network hybrid in the sense you know right hybrid you are nowadays right we are asking about hybrid model hybrid model what does it mean hybrid in the sense but the combination combination of public and private and private is called hybrid same way uh, in our generic words two days work from home three days work from office office the combination we will call it as what hybrid model am i right same it is also same okay few of the applications are running in public and some of the applications are running private if we establish the connection between these two and access overall things that we will call it as what hybrid okay but hybrid it is costly and sensitive and more uh, flexible and secure as well also it is high cost i will let you know how to do the tunnel later yeah next now uh, to provide cloud computing there are many vendors out there am i right what are they any idea one is microsoft thank you yeah microsoft i should Yes, AWS. second one, AWS. AWS. Third one, yeah, GCP, Google Cloud. IBM. Yeah, Oracle Cloud. Next, fourth, fifth one, IBM Cloud. IBM. I can say IBM Bluemix. Okay, next, sixth one, Alibaba. Okay, also we have OpenStack. Okay, we have N number of cloud vendors are there to provide cloud computing technology. Out of them, okay if you consider cloud market is 100% okay these two okay microsoft azure and aws they occupied 80% remaining all 20% okay so 80% occupied by aws and microsoft azure remaining all gcp oracle ibm okay alibaba openstack just the percentage in the world is just 20% okay so why microsoft azure why not aws okay uh, yeah. microsoft will say i am the market leader aws will say i am the market leader okay what is the between both of them why should we go for microsoft azure why not aws and what are the services are uh, very flexible in azure what are the things are not there in aws that all we will discuss it in detail okay the yeah, first thing what is the azure see why they have mentioned azure pure simply they can mention microsoft cloud right instead of microsoft cloud why they have mentioned azure what is the uh, meaning of azure any idea i will try it out any time okay so this word first suggested and microsoft azure implemented by first thing nadal satya the azure cloud computing initiate behind that is nadal satya okay so initially uh, azure in the sense blue color sky you can go ahead and google uh, azure in the sense that is blue color sky in the sky itself we will have the cloud that is the meaning behind that they have mentioned this keyword so initially microsoft azure low is this is the one blue color clouds where they have mentioned just words initially microsoft uh, introduced the azure into the market the initial low is this is the one now they have changed slowly okay so what is the microsoft azure any idea azure is a comprehensive set of cloud services note it down what is the microsoft azure azure is a comprehensive set of cloud services where we can build deploy manage and access the applications through global network data centers is called microsoft azure okay this is the exact definition this definition provided by microsoft not by me 
as these i copied and pasted it here okay what is the microsoft azure microsoft azure is a comprehensive set of cloud services this is the interview question okay when you attend uh, microsoft itself you will get this question what is the azure azure is a comprehensive comprehensive in the sense set of group of all enterprise features okay azure is a comprehensive set of cloud services where you can build deploy manage and access the applications through global network data centers is called microsoft azure okay yeah next when microsoft azure came into the picture okay microsoft azure came into the picture in the year of 2010 Okay, that time we will call it as Windows Azure. Windows Azure it supports only Microsoft related applications. Okay, Max they are supporting only Microsoft related applications. Later in the year of 2014, okay, they introduce new deployment model called ARM. ARM in the sense Azure Resource Manager, and they rename it. Windows Azure as a oh, yes. what is that? Microsoft Azure. Okay, Microsoft Azure. Okay, so this is about what? Uh, finally. now we we are, we are calling it as microsoft actually in the market okay yeah so this is the one slide so in the 2020 2010 they introduced what is that windows azure later in the year of 2014 they renamed windows azure as a microsoft azure this is the history of the microsoft azure okay i am telling why microsoft azure why not aws is Microsoft has around 200 plus data centers guys around the world they have 200 plus data centers no other cloud is there uh, which has these many data centers okay this is the whole biggest and the first organization which they have installed the these many data centers as 6000 next uh, see that is what directly they have mentioned azure has more global instances than any other cloud provider here other cloud provider in the sense i can say aws okay it is offering scalable bring your application closer to customers bring your application closer to customers in the sense uh, we can provide better performance we can provide better service if any service is down in the same our local data center they can fix on immediate basis okay in order to provide high availability so we have another data center where we can migrate automatically migrate our services to another data center in order to meet 99.99% sla okay these are advantages are there about microsoft azure Yeah. So uh, they have mentioned 60 plus region and around 150 140 countries. They have their own data center. Okay. Clear. Yeah. This is about what Azure information. Next. So. why should we go for azure why not aws just know a given few points remaining all see uh, it is low cost compared to aws azure is less cost next instant capacity instant capacity in a sense i would like to uh, increase the size or downgrade the size of vm or downgrade the size of configuration of the app services Any every time, any time, anywhere. Uh, if you have internet connectivity, just you can do downgrade or upgrade configuration of your application. 
that is what instant capacity like instant copy okay yeah next speed and agility next global reach you know right your data can be distributed across the globe in a minutes okay yeah you know right why microsoft and google and facebook their applications are very fast even though they have billions of customers all around the world why because they are publishing the data they are publishing the data across the world nearest cache servers okay if i access my facebook my request will go to nearest data center not main data center okay that is about what they are distributing the content across the globe in a minutes next it is secure so security is doesn't a matter nowadays they are providing high security you will not able to hack the data even though if you tap nadala satya laptop directly you will not able to do anything why because they are uh, encrypted the data many layers okay so microsoft azure certified around 70 plus complaints no worries about security okay yeah this is about what uh, benefits of microsoft azure okay yeah next so in azure we have around the 15 plus certification papers i said my words are very clear why because uh, microsoft azure is a comprehensive set of services in the sense we have web services artificial intelligence iot machine learning intune microsoft defender like 200 plus services they have provided uh, more than that so based on your requirement you people can consume any services okay so for every technology we have separate paper okay so main thing is i can suggest uh, we have administrator administrator certification paper is az104 okay next uh, azure devops you can say azure administration azure devops okay azure devops certification paper is az400 same way if you go for azure development okay here we have az204 okay next uh, azure architect okay azure architect uh, is az305 uh, these are the important four certification papers are there as i said azure ai azure cyber security azure data engineer azure fundamentals okay azure machine learning uh, azure security azure virtual we have n number of certification papers are there around the 15 to 20 okay but very popular sir these four i am going to teach you these two certification papers microsoft azure administration with devops so what are the topics i am going to cover and uh, what are the sub topics are there in respect of these two okay that all we will present it in this session okay in tomorrow session okay if you have any questions feel free and ask me i am happy to help you because the fundamentals 900 yeah easy fundamentals easy 900 that already included in easy 104 you need not worry about it okay thank you sir yeah syllabus no sorry syllabus yeah yeah that's what so whatever the content i am going to present i am going to explain for this course i will uh, i will display it in tomorrow session sir i have a few questions yeah how was the career growth sir now azure has lot of demand in the market uh for 3 years experience how much we can expect this salary uh, forget about salary sir now just to learn and enter into the market that is kind okay. okay so getting the salary that all depends on how much package you are uh, drawing in company many parameters are there okay yeah 
any coding is required so administration there is no coding required but we have separate paper development okay uh, for development you should have provision in uh, uh, like java.net so that you can move to development things Okay, Azure Administration and DevOps this is total configuration and the configuration implementation. No coding is required. So some scripting part is required. That I will. Compared to Azure, uh, AWS has more services, sir. Ah uh, uh, no, sure. both are same guys. If I ask you. BMW car is good or Ferrari car is good means what you will say. Both are good. They have their own mm -hmm. isolated features. That's it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. After finishing the course, uh, if I want something like a, in like our CV, can we get some help in that as well? Like, uh, I will provide a sample series and help you out how to do that CV preparation. I will give the demo. Or, or what is the? C I will share these sample versions. If people can modify according to that and publish it. Okay. And sir, if uh, like uh, whatever the lecture and suppose like we will get this PPT or like. Yeah. For every session, uh, I will share the PPTs and the uh, PDFs. Down you mean? Okay. Recordings. Everything I will share. More into that. Okay. And the session will every day, like uh, seven days in a week, or like uh, uh, five days in a week. Okay, Monday to Friday, uh, Saturday, Sunday, you people can practice it. Again, Monday, we will start it. Okay, okay. The course duration is two months. Okay. So, one month uh, Microsoft Azure administration, other, uh, other uh, next one month is DevOps. So one month in the sense, like uh, uh, hours basis, how many hours will come? Every day, one hour. Even Saturday, Sunday also? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I take the Saturday and Sunday, yes, I will take uh, uh, Saturday, Sunday also, one month. Okay, I mean, can we consider like a 30 days uh, for an Azure admin and 30 days for an Azure device, right? Yes, one okay. month Azure admin, one month Azure dev. Sir, are, are you going to cover real-time scenarios, sir? Yes, I am going to cover only real-time scenarios. Okay, sir. Thank you. And this uh, certification purpose, uh, so we will be getting some help, sir. I mean, uh, Sorry? Because for certification and all, we have to pay uh, extra and take the exams, right? Yeah, that is the external. Uh, that certification paper, uh, that all I will give the information. Actually, there is yeah. Can you hear me? Hello, am I audible? Yes. Yes, my voice is clear, right? Guys? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, okay. Yes, it's audible. Look. Yeah, you can go ahead and tell. Okay. And if I should miss any classes, we can get the uh, recordings, right? Yes, anyhow, every day we'll, we'll be receiving the recordings. Okay. Are you going to cover uh, Docker and Kubernetes in this session? Yes, yes. Uh, in Azure DevOps, I will be covering Docker and Kubernetes. AKS, Kubernetes services. Linux? Yeah, Linux initial I will cover. Okay, thanks. In Azure administration, it's like uh, uh, server administration. It will cover storage, infrastructure maintenance, uh, creating a VM. Like that, it will be covered? Or? Yes, creating the VMs, deploying the application, okay, monitoring, troubleshooting, okay, everything else. Only Azure. So, using the Terraform, you can uh, like this or like through the internet platform, our storage, Hello. Come again, your question? Ashok. Sure. Uh, like uh, now we are managing, in that shape, we are managing the printing, storage, networking, all this stuff we are doing in Azure portal. 
by using the Terraform, we can, uh, you, you will say by using Terraform, how can you do all the efforts? Uh, yes, we can do Terraform. Creating storage account services and all, we can deploy using Terraform templates. That can be covered in this Azure DevOps? Yes, yes, yes. That will be covered in Azure DevOps. That's what I said, no? Whatever the topics I am going to cover, everything I will present it in next session. Okay? And one Thank thing, you. how it is differing work-wise, Azure Admin and DevOps Engineer? Like, you know, DevOps Engineer having many things to do, but Admin part already... Yeah, DevOps in the things automation, guys. The name itself, it is describing that development and operations if you merge it together that we will call it as devs okay but so like admin work is totally different will be there, right compared to devs ah, no it is same admin work is based for devs see if you go for any cloud computing you least bother about it whether you will go for aws or google or uh, uh, azure so mm -hmm. admin part is mandatory guys for cloud Okay. So that knowledge Next, will be more will beneficial. Be acting too. as an architect, you will be acting as a data engineer, you will be acting as a network, you will be acting as a DevOps engineer. Uh, forget about them. First base is administrator. Without learning administrator, if you jump into some other things, again you have to come from scratch. That is damn sure. Hmm. I think somehow it is related to AWS as well because some of my friends they are working, but they took you know that some knowledge or some training outside. Yeah. And they learn AWS, but finally they are working as your Azure Admin, Azure DevOps, not as AWS. So no, it's, Azure I think, quite, DevOps is very popular. Yeah, yeah. So it's uh, mostly similar, I think, work-wise or some terminology will be different, but of course both are cloud only. How you give them the example, like, you know, Ferrari is good or BMW. So almost same only, right, the terminology yeah, yeah, is. Yeah. Mm. After and two session, months the course session, will be finished or it will be counted here already, already isn't it? I think two months you said the days, right? The classes time. So yeah. it will go around three months currently. No, two months, guys. For the web, it is required coding. Mm -hmm. For uh, no, configuration, little bit of the Terraform uh, to understand is required. So anyhow, that will, I will take care about. You need not. Uh, do we get the course content? What are the things covered? Uh, are yeah, those sure, so I will share with you guys. Yeah. The second one, uh, if you are taking uh, Azure administration, so after completion of this, uh, can we go for architect Azure architect? Yes, happily you can go for architect. So which one is in demand actually? Uh, so now in the market, I can say administration with the apps, guys. So architect people maximum depends on your experience, guys. Okay. For example, architect, how it will be? See, for example, I am the client. Okay. All my servers are in non premises Now I am looking for some cost saving. You are the architect. Hey, I would like to migrate my servers into Microsoft Azure. Just to provide your solutions. So you have to confirm. If I migrate the servers into Azure, how much I can save the cost? What are the benefits they are providing? Okay, if we get any service down, what would be the resolution? Okay, that all you have to provide it. Okay. It's the architect job. Okay. Yeah. So if you want to know all these things, administrator is mandatory. One more thing oh. that you know that uh, getting job into like Azure in the cloud, either admin or DevOps, is it mandatory to having certification? Uh, not at all, guys. Okay. An so internal switch hard is possible. Certification in already... a sense, gate pass. Okay. Certification in a sense, like a gate pass. Uh, I am the option in this technology, I am the right person uh, to do this job. That's it. Okay. An internal switch is also the best because already I am working. Having that, you know, I mean the DBA part. I wanted to move internally first, get our organization in other organization. So it is, it will work, right? Yeah, possible, yes. So now cloud is mandatory, guys. Whether you are working as a uh, database administrator or Windows administrator, some storage administrator or anything, now digital market is mandatory. That's why I think 
10 days back uh, sundar pichai given the uh, seminar now is the nadal sethe providing the seminars all over the countries okay now going forward cloud is mandatory all business taking care by these two only azure and aws no worry on that no worry about it The GCP is like far behind right now. No? It is not leading because as you know, at this point, uh, nothing that doesn't have much demand in the market. So most of the market, I said right, eighty percent they have occupied Microsoft and AWS. Why I am saying Microsoft is leader is so many components they are going to implement. Many changes are coming. The changes are implementing drastically. So now. Uh, Azure market share is like anything. You can Google it. I am not telling you as a faculty. I am working as by. So happily you can get more information. So how many years of experience we can keep if we after the completion of this course? Guys, for the uh, for real time people, no worries. Actually, you can keep for four to five years. Okay, happily they can hire you. Why? Because already you have real time experience. Uh, for newly enter into the organization, they have to keep minimum that is what three to five. So they have to learn. Anything. So this you are already working as a DevOps, right? Or is your admin somewhere? Sorry, you are already working as a uh, as your admin or like DevOps? I am working as an architect. Yes. Okay. okay. Definitely, that will help for for us also to getting the real time things. Yeah. Right? Okay. Thanks for your time. Have a great day. I have a question. Uh, actually, I have the content, but uh, when I uh, reach to other institute, they ask uh, that it is the uh, almost six month course. Then how you uh, finish it in? Uh, it depends on you guys. Okay. Uh, okay. Mine is my training is totally different. Okay. I will take only one batch. Okay. So some people will drag like one year. That doesn't look good. If I drag like six months or three months, finally you will lose the interest. Now market a uh, lot of changes are coming. So whatever the feature is there today, after one month that is uh, modified and some day they are okay. It is not. It is not a. We are not studying like B Tech or MCA like years and years. Okay. okay. Complete the course as soon as possible. Learn basics and enter into the organization. That is the basic. If you learn everything, is a perfect. That course, that implementation is not happening in the market nowadays. Now technology is like running like super fast. Okay. So my words are very clear. Uh, I will explain two months. This is totally real time. Okay. Uh, I am whatever I am going to explain. If you practice it, I can write it down. Bond hundred percent, you will get the job. Great, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. And the timings will be con only. Timings won't be changed. Six thirty to seven thirty. Ah. So that is the fixed time that far now. Okay. Beginning, you don't have any batch, uh, Shikhar. Ah, and that's what I am telling. I will take only one batch. Okay. So, even I have office timings and all right. I have to cover. That's what I am not going to run many batches. Only one batch. Okay. 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 Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I hope you can see my screen now, right, guys? Everyone. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. So in last session, just we had discussed about what over your Microsoft Azure. Now tell me, what is the Microsoft Azure? Azure is a comprehensive set of cloud services where IT professionals or developers can build, deploy, manage, 
and access the applications through global network data centers is called Microsoft Azure. Okay. Yeah, can you tell me when Microsoft Azure came into the picture? Any idea? First, in the year of 2010. Okay, yeah, during the time we will call it as Windows Azure. Am I right? Next, later in the year of 2014, Microsoft introduced one new feature called ARM. Then they renamed it to what is that? Microsoft Azure. So now, actually, we are calling it as what? Microsoft Azure. Actually, we are calling it as Microsoft Azure. Okay. Yeah. Next. So, for Azure related, if you need any certificate information, just go to Microsoft.com. This is the official site. Microsoft.com. Okay. Now, uh, at end of the URL, just type learning. Okay, yeah, next. Okay, these are the different types of certifications. We have administrators, artificial intelligence, okay, DevOps engineer, data engineer, data scientist, security engineer, solution architect, other one is what? Developer. Okay, I am looking for administrator with DevOps. Same way we have developer, solution, architect. Okay, now uh, just go for administrator. See, uh, Azure administrator certification paper is what? 104. Okay, uh, just search it. And this is the 104. AZ 104 Microsoft Azure administration. See, if you observe, we have a lot of certificates. For every technology, we have one certification paper. Okay, so uh, administrator certification number is AG104. Just click on it. Okay, here you will get the syllabus. You people may have doubt that what is the certification cost. This is $165, guys. This is uh, $165 USD. Dollars. Now change it to Indian currency. Yeah, 4,800 including GST, it will go to 6,000. Okay, so Microsoft Azure related any certification cost is 6,000 including GST. You can add 80% GST uh, for this 4,800, around you will get 5,900, around 6,000. Okay, yeah, next. And this is about what? Microsoft Azure Administration. Okay, yeah, next. Go back. Okay, again, I am looking for what? AZ400. Just type 400. This is Microsoft Azure DevOps. Hello? Okay, if you are not getting just highlight Azure. Okay, now type uh, 400. So yeah, this is what AZ 400 Design and Implementation Microsoft DevOps Solution. So this is also Sir. same cost, $165. Okay, I will convert Sir. it into Indian currency that is 4,800 rupees. Including GST and all, it will go to 6,000. Okay, yeah. So this is the certification paper. This is the certification paper. And okay. this is the syllabus. Sir, I what is he saying? Uh, configuration process 15%, designing implementation source control 20%, and the release management 45%, and security and compliance 15%, uh, instrumentation strategy 15%. This is uh, syllabus of Azure DevOps. Okay, so these many papers are there for your Azure. So we have uh, we have artificial intelligence, administrator, 
developer, architect, data engineer, okay, machine learning, okay, cyber security. So all different types of certifications are there. Based on your requirement, you can proceed and learn the technology and get it just certified. Okay, get it certified. This is about what? Overview of Microsoft Azure certification papers. I will share this link, uh, just keep it with you for your paper. <laughs> Okay, this is the certification you want. Next. As I said, I am going to cover AZ Banchiro code. Okay, uh, Azure Administrator. Okay, AZ Banchiro Okay, next Azure Devops. These two are uh, combination is very popular in the market. I am giving AZ DevOps 400 and uh, uh, AZ 104. Okay, right? Yeah, next. Next. Have a look. Uh, I am going to present one PPT where I have included all models and sub models. Let's see, I will open. Okay, yeah, and this is the certification paper syllabus. Now, uh, already clearly mentioned that uh, this is 104 certification paper. Now, first thing, module 1. Module 1 about what? Introduction, introduction to cloud computing. So, what are the different modules are there? Advantages of the cloud computing. Who are the vendors for Azure cloud? Who are the vendors for cloud computing? Why cloud? Why not? These topics we have discussed in last session. Okay, that is the model 1. Model 2, Azure platform. So, we will go through Azure portal. Okay, so in Azure portal, as I said, more than 200 services Microsoft has provided. So, out of them, what are the services we can consume as per our business requirement? You know, right, if you consider one project, the project may require two VMs. Another project may require artificial intelligence service. Okay, from different projects, they are expecting something data science related services. All these services, how we can create. That all we will discuss it in model 2. Okay, also we will go through that Azure portal. Azure portal has uh, many options. Okay, uh, how we can disable few options, how to get frequently used services. That all we will see in model 2. Okay, model 3 is the subscriptions. What is the subscription, guys? Any idea generally? If we subscribe something, like if we take any services and we go for that services and we pay for that then it's a kind of subscription yes correct simply i can say subscription is nothing but license yes okay subscription is nothing but license so microsoft providing any number of subscription versions okay first thing i can say uh, azure free trade what is that azure free trade that you are going to use more Next, uh, we can, we will have pay as you go model. Pay as you go model. Okay, yeah, next. Okay, yeah, next. Uh, Visual Studio Enterprise. Visual Studio Enterprise. Next, also we have uh, Enterprise Subscription. Azure Enterprise. What is that? Azure Enterprise. Okay, uh, Visual Studio Developer Edition. Visual Studio Developer Edition. Like that, we have around 20 plus certification 
sorry, around 20 plus subscriptions. Okay, yeah, next uh, we have student license. Okay, Visual Studio Enterprise, Visual Studio Developer, Visual Studio Students. Okay, we have n number of subscriptions. So as per your business requirement, we can choose one of the subscription, then we will host all project related services. Okay, yeah, next free trial, uh, I will let you know how to subscribe for free trial. The free trial valid is just for 30 days. Okay, just for 30 days. Okay, yeah, next. Next. Now, uh, this is about what? Create and subscription information. Okay, yeah. Next, what is the advantage of these subscriptions, sir? One organization may have n number of subscriptions. Yeah, please remember, they are bullet points. One organization may have n number of subscriptions. Okay, yeah, uh, I could see in my project around uh, 30 plus subscriptions. What are the advantages? For example, uh, we are all working in one account. One project may require uh, for one year. After one year, they are going to destroy it. So they will take pay as you go model. Whatever the services which they are going to deploy, they can consume it for one year. After one year, they will go and delete this subscription. The moment they deleted this subscription, Whatever the services which we have deployed underlying this subscription, everything will get deleted. So, budget will be stopped. So, we are away from that project. Just we are saving. Just consumer it. The project is over. We have destroyed the services. Okay, that is how our organizations will use these subscriptions. If you need 3 years, 5 years, or 10 years subscription, they will go for Azure Enterprise things. Okay, that all depends on business requirement. Next, uh, another model, create storage account and store the files. Okay, what is the storage account? What is the alternate of storage? Uh, you people are frequently using, right, to store your personal data, images, etc., etc. What was that? Maybe well, I, I have been uh, Yeah, we can say one try Google Drive. Am I right? Yep. Yeah, same way, Microsoft introduced storage account where we can store TBs and TBs of data. Okay, you know, right? Uh, you people are watching my, uh, sorry. Uh, you people are watching Amazon Prime videos. Am I right? Amazon Prime video, uh, all the videos, whichever you are watching, whichever they have placed on Amazon Prime subscription, so all these videos, they are storing in AWS storage. In AWS, there is a service called S3. What is that, guys? S3. S3 means simple storage service. Okay. So earlier, uh, Netflix. Netflix is the big customer for AWS. Okay, uh, in Netflix, whatever the web series, all videos, movies, entertainment, everything, they are storing, Netflix people are storing AWS storage itself. Now, Netflix is moving to Microsoft Azure. Do you know that? How many of you know? No idea. Yeah, Netflix uh, is going to consume Azure storage. Okay, uh, we got news one month back. So Netflix are going to own it by Microsoft. In future, that uh, that deal also going to be happen. Okay, yeah. Next, uh, in our OTT platform, I can say uh, Reliance Geo movies, cinema, okay, entertainment serials. Okay, a music, all videos, Reliance people, Reliance Geo people, they are storing our Azure storage itself. Okay, yeah, next, that is about storage account. What is the storage account? Storage account is a main space where we can store structure or unstructured data. Unstructured data in the sense movies. 
if you have 1 lakh movies to store 1 uh, one lakh into each movie assume that hd 4k also hd video it is around 6 gb uh, 1 lakh into 6 it will go for around 60 terabyte uh, 600 terabyte storage right same way um, to store such kind of videos unstructured data we will go on use storage account okay same now uh, here in microsoft uh, we have different types of what services based on our requirement we will proceed and consume the services we have storage blob file table queues etc etc okay yeah next module 5 implementing and managing the networking you know right uh, if you are real time professionals what you are doing you are find data centers are there somewhere else maybe new york or singapore or malaysia so you are sitting in from your hyderabad office you are connecting to vpn vpn in the sense virtual private network the moment when you connect the vpn it is establishing the connection to what is that your client data centers then you will able to access the data services application content so how we can create our own vpn vpn in the sense virtual private network how can we host those services within the private network and access them within the network that all we will see in networking topic so what is the virtual network what is the subnet how can you enable the rules okay ports okay next how to associate these ports with particular network Okay, that all we will see in networking topic. That is module five. Next, module six, implementing virtual machine. So this is the main thing. Uh, without virtual machines, there is no Azure project. Not only Azure, any project there. There is no any other projects without deploying virtual machine. Why? Because uh, virtual machines are playing vital role. You have to. Deploy the virtual machines on top of it. Host the applications. Okay, so how can we deploy the virtual machines? Okay, next in the virtual machines, uh, we have we have to configure IP address, or assign dynamic and static IPs. How we can assign that? We will see model six. Okay, model seven. I will show you how to deploy the virtual machine. With Windows operating system. Okay, for this Windows operating system, how to add the disk, how to extend the disk, how to troubleshoot if we get any issues in OS disk. Okay, that we will see in model seven. Okay, model eight, I will show you how to create the VM with the Linux operating system. On top of it, how to host one Java application. You know, right? There are different flavors of Linux. What are they? One is Red Hat. Second one, SuSE. Come on. Third one, Oracle Linux. Fourth one, Ubuntu. Debian. We have many things. Okay. Now Linux are open source. Okay. How to? We get one machine with Linux operating system. On top of it, how can we host one Java application? That we will see in Model Eight. Okay, yeah, in Model Nine, uh, implementing Azure App Services. What is that? In Model Nine, implementing Azure App Services. Okay, so so far whatever I have discussed, that is I A A. Yes. What is the full form of the IaaS? Infrastructure as a services. Just they are providing the service servers. Just we are consuming them. That's it. Okay. So far, whatever the module side covered, that is what infrastructure as a services. From here, I am calling it as PaaS, platform as a services. Now tell me. Uh, what is the infrastructure as a service? Just we can create this VM with the Windows operating system within span of a minute, only minute. 
on top of it whether you are going to deploy IIS application or Java application or .NET or PHP that all depends on your requirement clear guys okay yeah next pass in the sense see here Bandar is providing only virtual machines what about environment okay environment in the sense one second yeah environment in the sense what does it mean runtime environment we have to set up okay for example uh, you would like to deploy one java application to install uh, to deploy java application what is the web servers are required guys any idea okay. yeah Apache Tomcat, or else we can go for WebLogic or WebSphere or JBus. Am I right? Yeah. So the installation of Tomcat, Apache, WebLogic or WebSphere, we have to take care. We have to install on top of the VM and configure it. Then configure the port numbers, configure the DNS, configure the uh, application subfolders. Everything that we have to do that. Okay, when you go for pass, as I said, Sir. the name itself is describing that pass in the sense platform as a services. So total environment provided by the vendor, I mean Microsoft, just we have to deploy the application. How to deploy the application? That is very simple. We have multiple methods to host the services in Azure. Okay, so first thing, uh, what is the app services app services are ready made environment just where we can post our applications our application lessons anything any type of application okay uh, that's why i said dot net java php okay uh, web apps mobile applications gaming application anything next module 10 planning and implementing disaster recovery I said, right, there is a VM. All of a sudden, someone deleted or it got collapsed or it got corrupted. Okay, then in that case, how can you recover the VM? That we will see in module 10, backup and recovery operations. This we will call it as what? The uh, disaster recovery. Okay, next. Uh, module 11, planning and implementing Azure database. Okay. Uh, See guys, generally we have two types of database for Microsoft SQL Server. One is Microsoft SQL Server that is on premises. Okay, next Azure SQL Server that is cloud. Azure Cloud IP. Okay, in on premises SQL Server, first we have to purchase the license download the software and perform the installation and configuration when you go for azure sql server it comes under what pass platform as a services just directly you can go ahead and create the store procedures tables synonyms and consume it for your application okay so how to create uh, azure sql server database in azure and how to create the tables, how to establish the connection from app service to database that we will see in model 11. Okay, for example, .NET application is there, which may require to communicate database. Yes, how can you communicate? How to pull the data from SQL Server to .NET application that I will write the code, that is C sharp code. I will show you in model 11. Okay, model 12, implementing pass services we have different apps like uh, um, a logic app function app okay uh, and also we can post uh, web services okay wcf urls how to do that that we will see in model 12. okay model 13 configuring metrics metrics in the sense monitoring okay for example there is a one virtual machine if cpu utilization is crossing 80 percent we should know if cpu utilization is crossed 80 percent then it should trigger an alert 
okay uh, if virtual machine is down or stopped then you should trigger the alert okay how to monitor uh, all services in azure how to configure the alerts for every service in azure that we will see model 30 okay yeah model 14 active directory so active directory is a heart of the microsoft product guys i am repeating short form we will call it as aad aad in the sense azure active directory why i am telling this is heart of the microsoft product is without active directory there is no product okay for example you people are using ms teams in our offices right nowadays without ms teams there is no organization i hope am i right ms teams <coughs> when you open ms teams and searching for your colleague name or your project manager name names are displaying those names are coming from where any idea anyone active directory active directory only okay you know right office 365 component i said around 30 plus components okay total office 365 has been integrated with what aad only guys azure okay. active directory that's what uh, to consume sql server to consume office 365 to integrate some other product uh, with your users or enterprise members okay uh, we have to use azure active directory no other directories are there to beat Azure Active Directory. Even when you go for AWS, AWS people should implement Azure Active Directory. They have their own directories, but very popular is Active, Azure Active Directory. Next, so managing the permissions. Okay, permission in the sense, see, you are the DB administrator. I am the Windows administrator, someone storage, someone VM administrator. So according to their rules, their roles and responsibilities, how can you manage the permission? That we will see. Uh, manage directly and cloud in Okay, module 16 manage resource group. Okay, resource group in the sense, collection of resources, bring underlying one group is called manage resource groups. Okay, so how can you create the resource group? how to host the services under one resource group that we will see module 16. Okay, module 17, what is that? Our RBAC. RBAC in the sense, role-based access control. For example, uh, I, am, I am your client. There are 10 virtual missions. I should perform only stop, start, restart the virtual mission. I should not do anything. Okay, that case, how we can create custom role that we will see module 17. Okay, module 18, traffic manager. This is load balancer. What is the load balancer? How to distribute incoming traffic among multiple virtual missions that we will see module 18. Okay, yeah, next, module 19, backup and restore operations. I said, right, there is a virtual mission, there is a SQL server. There is a storage account. There is a web app. Okay. There is a uh, some other services by mistake or accidentally. If they would have been deleted, how to restore the, the all these services? That all we will see backup and restore operations. Okay. Yeah. Next. So from module twenty to remaining all, we will call it as I A A C. What is the full form of the I A C? Real-time professionals. Any idea? IAC infrastructure as code. Yeah, infrastructure as a code. See, PowerShell, ARM templates, Terraform, these three comes under. There is that IAC. So PowerShell and shell scripting Terraform will be there for every cloud guys. Every cloud in the sense, uh, if you go for uh, Google or AWS. Terraform, PowerShell, cell scripting, these three are manual. Okay, ARM template in the sense Azure Resource Manager, that is native tool that can be used for our Azure cloud computing itself. Okay, so Terraform, uh, I can say, 
it supports class platform language if you write one template in terraform same template can be hosted in aws google azure just change the providers that's it okay yeah next github what is the github any idea frequent keyword nowadays yeah what is the github guys to maintain project repository yeah. very good do you know uh, github owned by which company earlier uh, github is different where we can create uh, n number of repositories public and private repositories now github owned by one company do you know what is that anyone hmm. github owned by microsoft hmm. okay github is now microsoft product okay that's why uh, see uh, to access the azure portal okay if i type portal.azure.com here it is showing what signing with github just one year uh, 2021 john uh, uh, microsoft has purchased the github okay yeah so uh, how can you <coughs> store your project into github okay so i can say for all devops courses 100% they will use github why because project code is there in github how to create build and release pipeline how to automate it from scratch we have to configure uh, in azure devops or uh, open source devops wherever it is whatever it is okay yeah next uh, this is about what uh, the syllabus uh, which i am going to cover is it 104 okay so if we have more queries uh, happily you can go for a microsoft official site i said right uh, 104 click on it here we have syllabus okay uh, what they have covering have a look so azure manage identity this is active directory okay uh, implementing and manage storage just now i said and the compute resources this is the pass services networking i included mon monitoring same uh, if you perfectly thorough on these topics we can certify for azure okay this is the skill mention okay so these certification papers are valid for 2 years guys earlier when you certified it is lifetime valid now things got changed Uh, initially uh, az sorry first certification paper is uh, 70532 guys next microsoft change it to az 100 next they change it to az 101 next they change it to az 103 now in the market az 104 these papers are valid for 2 to 3 years you will get or you will get it on certification itself after that we have to renew it renew it and write the uh, another exam okay yeah so everything now all cloud services are changed the valid of certification only 2 to 3 years that's it again you have to renew it. right this is uh, uh, azure administrator story now i am going to discuss about azure devops okay so azure devops nowadays is very 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 popular okay why because azure devops comes under what is that yes a a yes what is the full form of this as software as a services it is like a office 365 you need not worry about installation and configuration and management in on premises everything would be taken care by microsoft just you'd like to know how to configure cicd pipelines okay yeah now have a look uh,
yeah az 400 okay so in az 400 first uh, i said right starting on notes for every paper azure administrator is mandatory guys administrator is mandatory you least bother about it whether you are going to learn azure or aws or google cloud that is totally up to you but learn administration from there move on to other services which are you required depends on your career path okay so uh, for azure administration as i said uh, uh, sorry azure devops as i said ad azure administrator is mandatory okay so same i have included including azure cloud computing and uh, what is the azure and subscription details and portal model p is the app services okay see here when you configure the ci and the cd pipeline ci means continuous integration continuous deployment the outcome the application should be deployed in app services or where is that virtual machine okay yeah so that's why i have included app services that comes under pass next model for what is the devops okay azure devops totally they have integrated with azel model have you heard about it azel model yes or no now every project in the world my words are very clear every project in the world they are implementing based on azel model okay what is the azel model any idea it says software development life cycle when you are studying btech or mca you could see one paper called a uh, software development life cycle waterfall method you might have read about it okay yeah earlier uh, we used to implement waterfall method now uh, every company every project they are implementing agile model guys that's why infrastructure also has been changed in it industry do you know earlier we have cubicle structure am i like like this so here one seat here another seat here another seat here another seat. am i right guys yes. like this you can now uh, it infrastructure is would be like call center like this here they will put the chairs systems we have to say what does it mean wherever you are sitting it should be visible to everyone in the world am i right Yes. Yeah. So that is the Azure model. Okay. So Azure model first they have implemented in automobile industry that is in Germany. So later that is implemented in our IT industry. Sir, you want install Java or basic Java, complete Java, and the same package, sir? Okay. Uh, you might have heard about new words, Scrum Master. Okay, Sprint, User Stories. you may have doubt that hey once i join into the company how i will uh, how will i will get the work how will i get the work through as in model that is devops a uh, sprint because our stories task would be created by scrum master you have to fulfill the paper i will give you in detail you need not worry about okay yeah next so in azure devops totally we have only five modules one is azure ports azure repos pipeline artifacts test plan only five modules okay so azure devops first they have implemented what is that azel model next azure repos okay azure repos means before purchasing the github azure should maintain their own repository right so they have provided repositories azure repositories using that we can store our project code okay yeah next model source control scm source code management source code management so we can use azure repos alternative is what github anyhow github is microsoft product so what is the github how can you push the code into github how to manage the history how to check in check out okay uh, how to do the code reviews that all we will discuss it in github module 
Okay, model A, uh, C A. C A in the sense continuous integration. Okay, this we will call it as build pipeline. Please remember these are all important words uh, which we will discuss it in the web sessions. Build pipeline. Okay, next continuous deployment. This is the release pipeline. Okay, so in the release pipeline, assume that you are the manager. Before deploying the application to the productions, okay, before deploying the application into the production, once manager provide the approval, then it will go on sits in production environment. How to trigger an approval email? That all we will see in continuous deployment. This we will call it as release pipeline. Okay, yeah, next. Uh, this is about what Agile methodology. I will totally cover. Uh, this is totally managed by Scrum Master. How to do that? That is really helpful. For me. Next, model twelve Docker fundamentals. What is the Docker fundamentals? What is the Docker? And why should we go for Docker? How can you install the Docker on Windows mission? How can you install the Docker on the next mission? On top of it, how to manage the containers that we will see model 12. Model 13 AKS Azure Kubernetes Services. What is the AKS and how can you configure the AKS? How to host our application that we will see in model 13. Okay. Yeah, so this is about what? Overview of Microsoft Azure DevOps. Okay. Uh, this is the syllabus. If you have any questions, any queries, let me know. I will be happy to assist you. Any queries, any questions? So the modules which we saw it's like many modules. So all the modules in the cover like single lecture or like it will be uh, no, it will extend guys. One model it may take two to three hours. Okay, that all depends. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You said that certification having some limitations, right? Like as zero one zero four and all this. What about the fundamental is also having limitations or it is uh, AZ 900 is Azure fundamental. That is basic, guys. Actually, how we will get, you no? Know, uh, I have some services in on premises. Okay. Uh, I would like to manage the services in Azure Cloud and on premises. Then, which type of cloud I should go? Which type of the cloud? Hybrid cloud. Like that, the basic questions would be there. Uh, so, limitations is there for that certification? I mean, for that uh, validity? Uh, yeah, uh, Azure's AZ 900. Yes, sir. Uh, they actually, they are changing the syllabus. Yes, two years, three years validity is there for that as well. Okay. Yeah, there is a validity for all of that. Yeah. As well. Yes. I have already AZ 900 and there is a Yeah. So two years it is there, right? Yeah, yeah, they are giving two years. That, after that, you have to renew or you, uh, you need to attend the, attend the exam again. Okay. So if we will give AJ104, then I don't think we will need to go for AJ900, right? Yeah, correct. Okay, I said right for all Azure certification papers, go to Microsoft Action site. Happily, you can go ahead and apply. So, uh, even after one year, 104 may be changed to 105. Are you getting? Now it is 104 is the certification number for Azure administration. It may move to 105. I am thinking after one year, guys, maybe 2024 or end of this year. Okay, in next session, tomorrow we have session, okay, uh, tomorrow I am going to discuss about how to subscribe for Azure Pay. Okay, uh, how to subscribe for Azure Pay, right? Uh, what are things? Tomorrow are we have session, tomorrow is Saturday. Yeah, tomorrow we have session, okay. Okay, tomorrow we have session, tomorrow I am going to show you how to subscribe for Azure portal 
uh, that is Azure Freight, right? Then I will show you how to uh, verify the Azure portal. We will go through the features of Azure portal. Okay. Yeah. Any queries? Any doubts? Uh, but for AV104, if you will go through the uh, like your lecture and the material will provide it, then that, I think that will be enough or we need to do some extra experiment. Ah, that is enough. Actually, I, I am going to share AZ104-400 dumps. Okay. Okay. And... Uh, uh, yeah, material for every topic, even recordings, interview questions, uh, sample resumes, I will take care about it. So you can proceed with them. Yeah. So yeah, like I don't need to worry about like some extra thing. So I will go with the whatever you will provide. I will go. Yes, yeah, so that is more than enough. Yes. Thank you. Uh, yesterday you said uh, you discuss about the job roles, all this stuff. Ah, uh, yeah. So end up the course and all, we'll discuss about job roles, how to apply the things. Sir, for this uh, uh, dumps and uh, videos, uh, uh, we need to pay extra money, sir. No, not required. Uh, already I am making these dumps and all in Google Drive. I will give you the link where we, people can download it. No okay. Okay, sir. Thank you. In uh, dev apps, uh, it's covering like uh, I have some Kubernetes and then the So, this kind of syllabus there is uh, not there mentioned actually. Sorry, sorry. In dev apps, uh, like uh, Ansible, Kubernetes, Docker related things is there, right? Yeah, Docker I have mentioned as, see, uh, there, there are two types of dev apps, guys. One is open source dev apps, other one is Azure dev apps. When you go for open source dev apps, there they will teach about Ansible, Chef, Puppet, Doc, uh, I mean Jenkins, etc. etc. Right? There okay. are many things. Okay. This AZ400, whatever Microsoft implemented, uh, I have included the syllabus. So, why ha I have included Docker and Kubernetes? They are, uh, what is that? Uh, okay. Very demanding two topics in the market. So, if you are Yes, we'll sir, be facing any answer. interview mm -hmm. if the questions are coming you should in a position to answer for that that's why i have included these two topics mandatory nowadays okay and like well, dev app open source classes is uh, running no, uh, uh, no open source dev apps i am not going to teach this is only azure dev apps i said right azure dev apps comes under software as a services so it is Free environment. I can say out of box functionality, uh, where I will show you how to configure build and release pipelines. You got it? Yeah. Yeah. Any more questions? Is tomorrow's session scheduled at the same time and at the same time? Yeah, day? same time, six thirty to seven thirty. Okay. okay. Can you share the link, that syllabus link, please? Uh, yeah, sure. Document. Anyhow, yes. I will share this uh, document with you. Uh, mm -hmm. Happily, you can keep it somewhere. No worries. Hi, sir. Uh, this is Basha here. Uh, this is my personal question. Okay. Sir, actually, I am working in server side, like uh, middleware operations I am doing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, because uh, so my salary is, uh, as of now, I have only five years of experience. My salary is 18 LPA, okay? Okay. So, now we'll uh, learn this uh, Azure Admin and Azure, Azure DevOps. Uh, so, the I mean, uh, if in case we change the company, they will provide that much of salary? Uh, yes. Why not? For Azure Administration and DevOps, they are providing even 20 to 30K in between. Okay, sir. Thank you. 30 lakhs per annum. Okay, and one more thing. Um, I'm a Java developer actually. Okay. So, if, if which one is better to like, uh, is it uh, open source devops or Azure devops? I'm not uh, about uh, 
really this one is better yeah so that's what i am saying the 80% companies now people are moving to azure devops space so what is the challenges of open source devops no for example you need to work on jenkins okay so you need your servers install master slave record configuration everything you have to do it manually okay if something goes wrong the troubleshooting part it will takes days and days like anything so coming to the azure devops uh, that is out of box functionality so the environment would be created and destroyed dynamically that is how they have designed uh, that is totally it depends on you which are you like i can say azure devops has more demand in the market you know uh, some people will learn uh, aws then coming to the devops they are learning aws devops yeah. and uh, yeah. it is like the open source devops it is uh, you know, uh, more uh, uh coding related for this thing yes comments uh, you need to know linux everything uh, this dev uh, azure devops uh, no uh, coding for this ah uh, no only uh, application no configuration you should know how to configure what all the tasks to be add in order to configure build and release pipelines that all very interesting azure devops uh, when you jump into that i will clearly explain you everything. and after the uh, completion of this course uh, will you explain like uh, how to uh, do the certifications how to pay the money yes, to yes. The i course. will help you out on certification no worries okay thank you so uh, yeah tomorrow as i said no uh, i am going to discuss about how to subscribe for azure free trial that is very important session okay uh, please attend be ready okay. thank, thank you everyone you. thanks for your time have a great day thank Bye. you thank you thank you sir see my screen now uh, yes it is visible yeah. <coughs> yeah so in last session just uh, we had discussed about overview of microsoft azure and uh, different certification papers that are available for microsoft azure okay yeah next so another uh, thing is today i am going to discuss about how to subscribe for azure free trial how to subscribe for Azure free trial, okay? Yeah, next. So to subscribe for Azure free trial, we require four parameters. How many? Four parameters. Important steps, okay? One is uh, we need to pass your information. Information in a sense your first name, last name, okay? Email address and address details, okay? Second thing is uh, enter the mobile number. Enter the mobile number. So you have to enter your mobile number. Okay. Third thing is uh, enter the credit card details. What is that credit card details? So without credit card, you will not able to subscribe for Azure Pay. Right. So credit card is mandatory. Okay. So if you don't have credit card, what should we do? We cannot do anything. 100% we require credit card details in order to subscribe for azure pay okay yeah next path uh, fourth one is debit card also works debit card uh, debit card very few i will let you know what are the things are they are support oh okay yeah next final thing is terms and condition okay terms and conditions okay agree terms and conditions So, uh, when you subscribe for Azure Free Trial, 
for Indian people. <laughs> okay, you will get fourteen thousand five hundred rupees. That can be consumed for thirty days. After thirty days, automatically your account will get deactivated. You need not do anything. If you want to cancel the subscription, yes, we can do. Uh, even though if you forget or something happened, even though. Uh, the account will be deactivated automatically mm -hmm. after 30 days. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, for US people, they, you will get $200. Okay, yeah. same that can be expected 30 days. After 30 days, what we have to do? We have to create another account. Okay, so you may have doubt that uh, after 30 days, can we use same credit card? Can we use same details? No. Okay, to create any account in Nashu, we have to change your mobile number. Okay, uh, your mobile number. Uh, next thing is credit card and email address. Okay, these three should be changed. Even though if one parameter is matched, you will not able to create Azure another free trial account. Okay, now feel free and ask me if you have any queries. You should not ask these queries in between next uh, classes. So in order to create another account, okay, you have to change mobile number, credit card, credit card information, and the email address. Sir, I have one doubt. Yes. Uh, after com completion of free trials, uh, can we use same mobile number, credit card, email, uh, that um, pay as you go model? Now, yes, pay as you go model, anyhow you are paying, yes. right? You can use anything, no worries. We can continue after free trials. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, next. But, uh, uh, for yeah, 14,500 that you told, right? That was free trial. Yes. So there will not be any billing amount or something. Ah, nothing. This I said, right? They are providing free credits. Okay, so then we can continue with the same account and the same card, huh? For free trial? Yeah. No, that's what. Free trial to get the 14,500 free credit, you have to enter the credit card. Okay. okay. Once, once this free trial is over, uh, if you mm -hmm. would like to continue same account, Sir, then you have to migrate your account English? into pay as you go, madam. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, US people oh. will get uh, $200 free credits. You can call them as well, free credits. Hello. Don't think that Good these enough, credits sir. will be uh, credited in our bank account. It's Just it will name. appear in the Azure portal. So if we create one virtual machine, I have used it for one day, then they will charge 500 rupees. Okay, I have created artificial intelligence, one service. Okay, I have consumed that service for two days. Assume that two days cost is 2,000 rupees. That 2,000 rupees would be debited from that 14,500 free credits. Got it? I have created another Azure Covenant services. I have used for that service around one week. For one week charges is assume that 5,000. Then the 5,000 would be debited from this 14,500 free credits. How are the charges, uh, Shikhar? Like compared to AWS, it's nominal or it's costly in Azure? Uh, it is less cost. I will show you. Yeah, they have officially provided in Microsoft. AWS. I've used AWS account. Even if you use some services, that is free tier uh, services, it is uh, not uh, too costly. So I was wondering, uh, means if we use uh, pay as you go uh, service, right? Means mm -hmm. it will not be costlier. Uh, because every time we don't have to, means we cannot use the different credit cards. Nah? So that's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, that's what. Uh, AWS is totally different. Azure is totally different. Azure yeah. strategy is totally, completely different. Okay. okay. Now, the cost Azure, are lesser compared to all, Yeah, it is less cost itself. Uh, hourly basis billing. Uh, so, you know, right, in AWS, when you subscribe, it will be there one year. 
okay after three trades are over automatically uh, invoice would be generated even though you are not paying uh, it will be valid for three months after three months you can leave that account in aws am i right uh, yes yes yeah, yeah. here nothing uh, it is full they have rules and regulations guidelines strictly they are following no oh. worries yeah microsoft nowadays they are trying to market later and one more question sir if i have access to like enterprise version then still i should create the free account or like i can work with that like i can uh, right now i can access the azure uh enterprise account in the sense like i work in azure so i can access azure services uh, you mean to say your organization account yeah yeah Actually, you can use it. Why? Because your organization bearing that amount, then you can create these services, whatever you want. You can uh, do R and D. No worries. Okay. Oh, so, but so. yeah, but uh, your organization should provide you the approval. Why? Because that is the cost. Whether they are approved or not, uh, that check with your management. Okay. So because yeah. if I do do some practice, then yeah, might be they can charge. Right. Yes, everything. Even though you are using enterprise for your organization, if you create yeah. one virtual machine and consume it for one hour, yes, that will yeah. be chargeable. Oh, okay, okay. That we I need to confirm it with my organization. Yes, yes. So okay. nothing is free, guys. Everything is chargeable. That's it. Okay, okay. No way. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Uh, few accounts, organizations, they won't allow you to create uh, services for R&D purpose. Why? Because it is the chargeable. The company has to bear that account. That's why maximum 80% companies they won't allow you to create the services and deploy them for R&D purpose. Okay. That's what. Whatever you did, whatever you have to practice, do it in pre-trial itself. Remaining 20 company, 20% don't. I don't know. Okay, no, worries. that's why I have some doubts. So that's why I confirm. Yes, yes. Yeah, they will say then. Yeah, I will use it. So without informing mm -hmm. them, if you create one service immediately, alert our billing will go them. Uh, so immediately they will ask you why did you create this service? Just provide the justification. Is there any reason or not? Many questions will come into the picture. <laughs> oh yeah, that's just yeah, that's why. Yeah, no, five years. I will look into that. Yeah. Uh, next, uh, this is about what over your Microsoft Azure subscription. Okay, yeah. Next, uh, after enter the credit card details, you will be charged two rupees per Indian rupee. How much? Two rupees. This amount will be credited back to your account within one to two working hours. Why they are charging is just uh, uh, whether you are genuine user or not. Just to verify, they will charge two rupees. You will get one OTP that has to be entered. Once you enter the OTP, two rupees would be debited. So after one to two working hours, immediately you will get this amount back to your account. Okay, for US people, they will be directing one uh, dollar. What is that? One dollar. Okay. Yeah, these are the mandatory steps. Please let me know. Still, if we have any queries, uh, in future you should not ask the subscription related queries. I don't have credit card. What do you mean? Yeah, if you don't have credit card, uh, I know that. Uh, so these debit cards are accepting. One is ICICI, and the City Bank, and Kotak Mahindra. Okay, these three debit cards are accepting. As per I know, try it out another debit cards. If they are accepting, that is well and good. Happily, you can create prepaid. And when we will create the account, sir, there is option like uh, create a free trial account, or like there will be some normal sign in, and at that time they will ask like you have to use go for the if you want to do the free trial, you select this one. Yes, yes, yes. I will show you how to subscribe to Azure Pay. Well, now I am going. Okay. Okay. No. Yeah. Okay. So far, it's clear. So whoever doesn't have the credit card, so you people can use 
ICICI, Citibank, Kotak Mahindra. I am telling this story three months back. Now, what is the rules? I don't know, uh, but try it out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Next. Uh, yeah. So, to know anything about Azure, I can suggest you only one URL. I am not asking to remember many URL. The URL would be azure.microsoft.com. Please remember, I am asking you to remember what is that? Azure.microsoft.com. Okay, so if I get any queries, if I get any uh, troubleshooting steps and all, I will go and verify in this URL itself. For Azure, we have one and only one URL, azure.microsoft.com. This is completely for documentation purpose. Documentation and troubleshoot purpose. I said, right, Microsoft providing like more than 200 services. If I get any queries, if I get any issues regarding those services, I will go and search it at only this URL. Okay, now just copy, uh, drag and drop here, automatically it will take us to that URL. You know this feature, right? Okay, in the notepad, whatever you have type, just go and drag it, automatically it will take us to that URL. Yeah. So Microsoft doing a lot of business, a uh, lot of features they are adding, uh, try to adapt them. Okay, uh, I think yesterday you might have seen that. Uh, Nadal said that visited either way. Okay, so what is what they are doing now? They are adding AI feature. Uh, per Bing, now it is going to be very popular compared to Google search. It is in testing phase, maybe it will be available.